right? So communication, as you've been reading about, is our whole piece of fruit. It's this process of encoding, transmitting, decoding information, ideas between a sender and a receiver. Okay, so communication is this whole piece of fruit. Now, we have parts of communication that involve language. But as you can see, not all communication is linguistic, right? We are gonna spend today thinking about the aspect related to language, which you'll remember is a socially shared code where we represent concepts through arbitrary symbols. And those symbols are rule governed. So that's where we're going to be, this half of the orange today. Thinking about language in general, we have different modalities of language. We could say some of language involves speech, right? Speech, you'll remember, is a physical act. It's really precise neuromuscular behaviors in order to carry out production of a linguistic code. But that means not all language is spoken, right? Some language is written, so reading and writing is also a form of language. Signing, American Sign Language, sign languages all across the world are a form of language. So we're gonna think about those rules that I alluded to, right? It's a socially shared code uses arbitrary concepts to represent symbols, and those symbols are rule governed. So today I wanna to review those rules with you, which is the extra-linguistic elements, Right? I'll be using your non-linguistic cues to see if you're getting things or not. Things like body, posture, facial expression. You might tell if I'm thinking something's really important by my use of paralinguistic cues, if my voice speeds up or I start emphasizing something. Really, the whole class that you are involved in now requires you to use metalinguistic cues, which is thinking about language in the abstract as an object of attention. So you use language to analyze language. That's a pretty advanced skill. So this whole entire class requires you to hone in on the metalinguistic abilities. So hopefully you find this um, beneficial, and again, it's not to scale, right, that half of all communication is linguistic. In fact, we think maybe even two-thirds of communication might be nonverbal. But just so you can see the different pieces, Right, as you're um, pulling things together. 